In this lecture, we'll be talking about non-parent-child communication. So, till now we have seen how a parent-child component can communicate with each other. But in this one, we'll be taking a look at how non-parent-child communication takes place between components. One approach that we can use is creating a bridge between two components using a third component. So, here, as you can see, we are making use of component A and component B and that's what we have included over here. Let's go to component A and B and see what we are doing over there. So here in our component A you can see that we have the usual template over here which is actually having two input boxes. The first one is the one associated with the P state DA value and the second one is hub state dot message. Now hub state, as you can see, is making use of hub. Hub is the third component that we have created. So this is the one which both the components will be using for communication. And here we have simply imported it. You can see that we have created it inside the same component directory, hub.view. Now going to component B, you'll see most of the things remain same. And here also we have included the hub component. So here db value says hello b and hub state is again assigned the component hub. Now if I go to hub.view you can see that there's only one data attribute that's message and it is having the value hello. Now in both comp a and comp b you can see that we are listening on that using the v model attribute. So whenever this message is changed in input a the same will be updated as well in component B's input value. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now. So here you can see that hello A and hello B. These are component A and component B. This is the value coming up over here. Now this hello that you see is coming from the third component that we have used called hub. Now if I go ahead and make a change over here in component A you can see that the same is actually reflected in component B as well. So what we are doing over here is we are just keeping a track on this hub state dot message. Now if you see hub state is actually associated with the third component hub dot view. So whenever the attribute message which is actually this component's attribute is updated either by A or by B, it's reflected in both these components. So that's one way of having a communication between non-parent-child components in Vue.js.